How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today, I just wanted to talk about some text-to-speech narration for in-game menus and how developers are doing it. So recently, I did a video on Gears 5 accessibility. And in that video, I talk about the text-to-speech system that they have for narrating the menus. And that's pretty much how developers have been doing it lately, where they have like an in-game system for it. They pretty much have a built-in screen reader. And there's nothing really wrong with that system. Um, it just kind of lacks uh, customization. So like if it rambles on and starts reading stuff that you don't care about, it'd be nice to you know stop it from reading or um, increase the speed sometimes. So like I said, not really that bad. It's just um, it'd be nice to have some customization. And so I found that Halo the Master Chief Collection actually goes about it a little bit differently. I don't know if this is intentional or not, but it actually works with screen readers instead of having like its own built-in screen reader for menu narration. So I, I've noticed that it runs the best with narrator and I'm running narrator right now. So here, I'll do some demonstration right now. So I'm using narrator, which is Windows screen reader. Multiplayer button, Firefly button, options and career, quick to desktop button, options and career, Firefly button. So it's going for the menus fine. Matchmaking button. Main menu screen. Multiplayer custom Firefly. Firefly classic tab item. Two of five. Options tab item. Three. And it just Start reads tab. the the menus here. So options tab um, item. you can go Three back. Um, boom. Matchmaking. Main menu screen. Matchmaking button. Custom Firefly button. Yeah. So it's reading all these menus and yeah, it doesn't exactly work the best all the time though. There are some like glitchy things. Sometimes it just stops reading. Um, See, so it's like restart the screen reader. Um, but let's jump to other screen readers here because um, usually people don't use Narrator. I don't use Narrator very often. Um, I mainly use uh, JAWS and NVDA. So let's go jump yeah, to, uh, let's open JAWS. JAWS 2020. You. Exiting Narrator. Close Narrator. JAWS Professional. Halo, the Master Chief All right, JAWS is open. And will it read? Spotify Premium. Halo, the Master Chief Collection. All right. It took a second there. I don't know why, but it is now reading. So custom There we go. And it is reading. So let's go jump to. Actually, here, there's a, something interesting there. So right there, it's kind of saying to switch play pages. Click uh, Control plus page down. Um, I don't know if Narrator was reading that. Um, I don't know if that's a specific JAWS thing or if JAWS is reading more information. But um, here, let's close JAWS. And open NVDA. Multiplayer custom desktop list desktop list NVDA you desktop list NVDA fourteen of nineteen okay NVDA is open and Dr. Dr. Shortcut, six of nineteen Halo the master chief one collection start tab five five choose difficulty okay. exiting narrator closing narrator start tab five of five choose difficulty tab four of five and there we go options tab three of five firefight classic tab two of five NVDA Choosing is now five reading five. the firefight options here so if we go escape out of this custom firefight button matchmaking campaigns button multiplayer button campaigns button and we're back Multiple to button. the main menu here. Options and button. Quit the so I think this is really, really cool that it's using screen readers to read the menus. Um, in all cases, this probably isn't the best. You know, like, um, I don't know how consoles work with this. Like, on console, does the Xbox narrator read things instead of having a built-in uh, screen reader on it? I'm not too sure. But I, either way, I thought this was really interesting that it does it this way instead of having the built-in screen reader. So yeah, I hope uh, developers do this more or e maybe even have the option of having a built-in screen reader and then able to toggle that off and then use your own screen reader. I guess that'd be the best of both worlds. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see me streaming on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash blindlyplayinggames. And thanks for watching.